Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as both newcomers get turned away by both great houses. KOTT news crews were on the scene in first light, but no one was available for comment. Recent protests by the citizenry have encouraged the marauders of each region to reconsider their taxation strategy for civic projects. Speaking of civic projects, the Spice Lords of Barely A Company were struck by an unexpected invasion brought on by a sudden tsunami last night during their war. And while refining services remain largely untouched, crafting stations were decimated. Hamlet leadership have initiated an emergency assessment to fund repairs. Citizens seeking to volunteer efforts to improve the infrastructure should look for assigned tasks on the mission board. Tonight's weather should be less impactful with another beautiful morning all day long leading into additional post-tsunami afterwaves of invasions along the coastal edges. Four submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the syndicate forces of pirate hooligans assail the covenant forces of Hammer for control of the always contested Restless Shore. Pirate hooligans make their second attempt to secure land on the island after failing against Blushing and Bricked last night in Brightwood. Hammer forces managed to field a reliable group of defenders for the last open tryouts. Have they expanded their ranks to accommodate two regions? Then, the syndicate forces of Here Be Mutineers attack the covenant forces of Hammer for control of the bamboo forest preserves and medicinal hot springs of the resort destination Ebon Scale. Here Be Mutineers return here after their loss here three days ago. After hearing rumors of unpaid mercenaries, they're willing to try again. Hammer leadership have gone on record as willing to compensate community members who participate in their wars, but after a week of recruiting, do they need to? Meanwhile, the Covenant forces of Ancient Templar challenge the Marauders of Snake for their championship title and the right to rule over Everfall. Ancient Templar step into the ring confident in their chances. After going the distance with the champs four days ago, they feel they can make it happen this time. The forces of Snake go for their fourth defense of the fort as they approach third place on the all-time Neverfall list, currently held by the Reckoning at five. In the nightcap, the Syndicate forces of Battlesnakes mug the Marauders of Dropouts in their attempt to steal the financial capital of Windsward. Battlesnakes are fresh off their victory two days ago in Reekwater, and now they're coming to Windsward, and they're bringing their battle rattles. Dropouts have held the financial capital for nearly two months now, content in controlling the central corridor and accepting of all challengers. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.